hello everyone welcome to my channel on today's episode of programming series i'll be attempting to build an entire website in a day yeah it sounds like a lot it's actually a lot i've never even built a full page in a day not to talk of a website but today i'm just going to be coding all day it's been raining and i just had to start up this project that i've been assigned to do i'm supposed to submit it like in two days time and i've not actually started yeah sometimes you're just not feeling like it so this is my laptop interface i'll be screen recording first things first i already created this um, restaurant folder where every work is going to be yes i know it's on my desktop it's bad practice but yeah i'm going to take it out so i would go straight to my chrome because i like to source out for my materials i would use before i actually start off any project like i just like to source out and then when i'm coding i know i'm coding so first things first, I'm researching for restaurants in Nigeria because I like to draw inspiration. I like to see what actually like a website looks like, a restaurant website looks like. I've not actually explained what I'm building. It's more like an, a website where more like food vendors can register. If you get what I mean, food vendors can register and display the foods they have up for delivery. And yeah, you can choose like you have options. It's a group of what. A restaurants join together that kind of thing so yeah i'm trying to design the front page so i've checked out this different websites actually but these are the ones that i captured i'd open this website view what it looks like open another one view what it looks like and that was just the cycle i was repeating this is for testia crowd deck crowd deck website that's what it's called so yeah also i'm opening my bootstrap because for this project i'll be using basically bootstrap javascript and html yeah i'm not using react because i'm not very good at it yet so i'm opening up the document this is one of the websites that i've opened and checked out was well, just very basic i just didn't like it but this one i didn't really like it but i just like the way they displayed their food like the cart section i was like okay i might do something similar to this and after that i am opening my canva because i'm going to need to design some things like the, le- the logo some graphics that i might want to put on the site because i just like to design my stuff myself that way it's built more like authenticity and not just download like graphics or something so yeah i went to canva and i searched for food like restaurant logos and this was what they brought out Honestly, I was looking for something very clean because I don't like things that are too busy. So I was confused. I'm not going to lie because there are a lot of options. And then I saw this particular logo. I'm like, okay, it's not bad. I just want something like really basic like this. And because restaurants <laughs> are known for like colorful websites, I'm going to have to use like very short colors, which I don't normally use on my pages. So yeah i saw the orange and the yellow and they were a good match so i'm just going to customize it to what i actually want to the name of the site also for this website i'm thinking of incorporating a video to it so i'm going to search for free videos there are websites where you can download free videos and like free aesthetic videos so for this particular uh, project i'm using pexel a website so i'm just going to search for restaurant or food pictures or food videos and they are going to give me like options of food depending on the kind of food i'm looking for is it preparation but i want like already made food like food that is done so yeah that's exactly what i went for after i was done downloading it i went over to the restaurant folder on my desktop and opened it with my vs code because that's what i code with with my vs code and i started coding a couple of hours i just wanted to give like a quick progress check just show you guys like what i've done so yeah nothing is happening yes i know these are like lines of code they brought about this and it's just basic i've just basically just done the nav bar 
inserted my logo and inserted the video at this point i just hadn't even know what exactly i was doing on this side but i just knew that i wanted something different something different from all the websites that i've created or designed in the past so here i wanted to remove the controls on the video so that once you reload the page the video just plays automatically and you can't pause it or anything so yeah this was it it's coming together i'm super excited about the outcome of this project and i would really love for you guys to see because i didn't know i was capable of pulling this off like i honestly didn't imagine that but like i said i'm sure is the key to success After many hours of coding, we're finally almost done. And first of all, just want to say that I didn't finish this that day. It took light, there was no light, and there was no work on power my laptop, and I was honestly exhausted. So I slept and I woke up the next day and I continued. So yeah, this is the side nav bar, and this are like the animations on this site, which I really love like the CSS styling. The style is basic but then it's nice these are things like i've not tried before and yeah this is the food menu option i just let show you guys the animation where it pops up from like town it slides up kind of view and it's like the food section i can see add more based on the request if the person that assigned me says i should add more like food menu i can always duplicate them but for now it's just four and I just took my time in downloading these pictures and this is the footer so yeah the site is basically ready the front end sorry so for the form like registration form I didn't do that yet but I'm actually going to do that it's not going to take me much time because it's just basic login form and yeah this is what it looks like I'm so happy I can pull this site I don't know it's just so beautiful the video it's just something i've not done and here i want to check the responsiveness of the site because if this site was not responsive i would literally just cry because i don't know where i was start from but yeah it was responsive it was i was very conscious even though there are some like um overflowing overflow thing here and there but i know i could fix that i could fix especially in the down part there i could always fix that but yeah this site is like i'm just happy about what i've been able to do so in the spirit of that i didn't do it in one day i actually did it in two days which is actually progress and all throughout the time i just focused my energy on that and yeah it paid off so basically that's the end of the video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and comment and share this video for other people to get to see this until next time see you guys on another programming series bye